Hello everyone, my name is Sick and welcome back to Sniper Elite 4, where we are playing the campaign in the authentic difficulty setting. So this will be episode 2, and I decided that I am not going to be taking some sniper shots from this position, because we don't really have a good way to um, mask our shots other than the airplane that is flying by every once in a while. But it takes too long, so I'm just going to be tagging some guys while I'm still here. Not that they don't show up on the map or anything like that, but I don't know, might as well. I'm in a good position to do so. And that's is going to save me some time later on. They're all at 150 or slightly more range. Let's see, 150, yeah. So that is a range that I'm comfortable with shooting at people, but uh, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. But anyway, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go out the other side because there is a tower that I saw there. And I do remember that there was going to be, uh, if I remember correctly at least, there is a device that we can mess with. It's like some kind of an engine or some shit like that. And it is going to create an opportunity for us to mask the sound of our shots. So I'm going to try to become a little bit more stealthy. And I'm going to try to make my way over to that tower right there. Alright, let's see. We can go down like this. Or actually, oh, we could go up over here. But no, I don't want to go up. I want to go down. There's going to be another objective up there, I think. But uh, for now, we are going to go down. And I believe, yeah, in the last episode, this is where we came out. So there's the plane that masks our shots. I wonder if you could actually shoot this plane down. That would be really hilarious. Jesus. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I had trouble pronouncing that, but um, let's see. Let's have a look at the map. So we're going over towards this direction now. And I actually, yeah, actually, we're over here somewhere. Somewhere in this area. This is the tower that we want to go into. There is, I believe, an officer down here somewhere. Uh, probably someone over here, most definitely someone over here. I think we already killed the guy that is over here somewhere, I think, but maybe we did not. I don't remember. Yeah, oh yeah, we did, actually. I, I shot him in the back as he ran away from me. And of course, lastly, there's the villa, where we are going to probably find the last officer. So I need to find a way to get down there or around this area. I think around the area would be okay. We do see the house down there. There are some more people that we can tag, so I might as well. Let's see. 69. Oh, crap. I hear... I hear a German. <laughs> what must do then here? So, I think I might have just been spotted. So I'm going to continue sneaking on a little bit and maybe hide over in the bushes over here. And if he comes this way, well, I'm just going to have to shoot him in the head with my pistol, most likely. Also, we have uh, some sandbags, and that means probably some enemies as well. All right. Yeah, there's one. 32 meters. Ooh. This is an opportunity. There we go. He is most likely going to get spotted by someone else and there is going to be a panic, but uh, it doesn't really matter. We're just going... Ooh, there's not a guy right there. We might have been able to take him out as well, but... Ooh, he has two grenades on his harness. That is really cool. Once got his arm trapped in a revolving door. <laughs> All right. So he has two grenades. If we manage to hit those, they're going to explode. So if he is around other people, that would be incredible. Unfortunately, we don't really have a way to mask the sound of our shots anymore until the plane comes back. I think I almost got spotted there. <laughs> see there's a guy there now he's unaware he's unaware he almost got triggered but almost is not good enough we might be able to get closer though if this guy looks away which he doesn't see yeah, okay now he is 
We might be able to take out this hilltop uh, first. Ah, okay. So I, I just noticed that sound effect that is apparently it activates when we are hidden. Yeah. So once we're in here, we are invisible, even if they come close and the rifle sticks out of the bush. But no, that's gamey logic for you. Ooh. Not the other side. He is most likely going to get spotted by the other guy, but it doesn't matter. Right. Let's sneak up to this little wall. Take out our pistol. And actually I should have disabled Steam Overlay because now I get chat messages and uh, other pop-ups and things like that. It's a little bit annoying, but oh well. Usually I'm not too popular, so... <laughs> or at least not a whole lot of people tend to talk to me all the time, which is good because I don't want them to. Unless they're my close friends from real life, of course, then it's okay, but... Other than that... Ooh. Hey! That's really cool. Okay, so he is going to stay there for a bit we have an opportunity to mask the sound of our rifle shots that is excellent i didn't know this thing was here oh ouch that goes the neck this is what i was talking about in the last episode as well like with no the melee kills now you can actually stab someone in the neck and well you know you see the vertebrae shatter and stuff like that it's pretty brutal Oh, this thing was broken as well since we created this opportunity, I guess. That's cool. Alright, so let's see. 87 meters. That's fine. Not sure where he's going. There we go. Ooh, through the mouth. Covert assassin. Alright, cool. So he's in the little house now, he should be out of sight of anybody else that walks by, unless of course that person is also going through that same little house. Um, let's see if there's anybody else that we can see from up here. So there's the little camp that we kind of passed by earlier, like... Um, the other sniper tower that we were in is right over there, we had a view of this little camp from that position. And I think there was still one guy walking around here somewhere. But I might be wrong. I don't see any movement at the moment, so... Oh, well, time to check out other... Uh... Oh, there's another guy. 119. Little bit of wind, but not too much. Sadly, this guy is pretty obscured, so... Not a great opportunity. Let's see, we also have... Let's see, wow, 227 meters. If I could make that shot work, that would be incredible. Alright, 268, 247. Alright, so that's the guy we saw earlier. He is coming back over to the left, I think. Yeah. But nothing, not, a, not any great opportunities to take that shot, so I'm not going to do it. Let's see, we also have guys over there, 338, 335. That's really far away. <laughs> I would love to, make, to be able to make that shot, but that's probably not going to happen. Okay, I'm just going to leave that guy to walk around for a bit, and I'm going to go the other way. Actually, I should search his corpse as well. And at this point, I should probably get back to my find anything initial plan, which is going over to that sniper tower over there. Because there is another uh, little engine like that that uh, we can tamper with. Ooh. Crap. Right here, I'm out of range of the... Uh, of this one, so I'm out of my sound masking opportunity there. Maybe we can make it work. We should be able to make it work from up here. Yeah, where is he? 
crap. This is hard to see. That's this is head right there, I think. A little bit of wind. Stag him as well. 59 meters, yeah. There we go. Ouch! <laughs> Right, is there anybody else that I can see from up here before I move on? It would be good to take out as many targets as we can from this position because, well, right here we have a lot of sound uh, that we can use to obstruct or, or mask the sound of our shots, so it would be good to take advantage. I don't see anybody else though. There's probably going to be another guy walking around down here somewhere, because this is a... Uh, I think, yeah, we can't see him right now, but... Oh, yeah, there he is. The corpse of the guy that we shot at, like, 200 meters away, or 180 meters, something like that. I think this is where we walked by earlier. So I don't think there's anybody else left over there, but... Oh, yeah, there's two corpses over here. Well, that probably took care of that patrol, so... Oh. There are our opportunities. 100 meters. 104 meters. Oh man, these shots are going to be hard. I need to get a better position, but... Can't really see them from up here. Too many trees in the way. That's going to alert him. It would be awesome if I could make that shot work, however. He's coming this way. I think I see his head. Yep, yeah, he's coming this way. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit and see if I can take this shot. Maybe one he's over there. Crap, that's a hit. Oh, it's a kill as well, apparently. Yeah. Good. And it was still ma sound masked. The other guy, however, he's too too far away towards the back. So this is it. I'm going to go back to the tower plan and see if I can get there without being seen by those guys over there. Or over here, I guess. Oh. That guy is onto it. I don't see him anymore, but he's checking out the corpse we made earlier. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, just in time, too. Woohoo! Look at that brain just squish about inside of his skull. Crazy. I think it's fair to say that I'm getting the hang of these uh, of these ballistics. Almost all of the shots I made so far have been have been a hit, and most of them have been headshots too. So I feel pretty good about that because the first video, you know, it was only a, a 50 minutes long, but I, I I quit early earlier than I originally planned to because I just felt bad for missing all the all of those shots basically. I was messing around too much. I was like, yeah, nah, this is uh, going to be too much of a nuisance to deal with or for people to watch you know all of these missed shots that's not what people come for to um, sniper elite for there's another uh, gener oh, it's a generator is what they're called okay so another generator over there I might be able to sneak over towards him and maybe take him out and from there I should still be able to go towards the tower so I like that plan let's uh, take a short walk up so I think it's pretty quiet. And we can continue sneaking from here. I did receive a comment that talked about how the original Sniper Elite... Oh, crap. Uh, actually had a way to gradually increase your movement speed. Crap, that is too... Crap! That sucks. Alright. 
But yeah, it had, a, it had an opportunity to gradually improve or uh, speed up your movement speed or slow it down. And that is something that is really missing in here. I commented on that earlier as well, is that it's really annoying that you can only either creep really, really slowly or you can just jog really, really quickly. And there's nothing in between. I would love for there to be like uh, a, a normal walking speed, essentially. That is not extremely loud but still makes a little bit of noise and then you have like the slow sneak from over here or the one that i'm doing right now actually you know essentially that is uh that would be okay but uh right, maybe we can distract him with a rock i'm too far away however so i, I need to get closer <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was too far for this pistol, but right, luckily that worked out for us. I hear people coming up. Crap! Oh fuck! All right, cool. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Alright, another German has seen the dead body, so they're going to keep coming this way. That means that I am going to get out of here, and I'm going to go along the high road. And see if we can maybe make some sniper kills instead. Did he see me? No, he did not. All right. Cool. 64. There's the generator I was talking about. Ooh. It would be nice if one of those airplanes came around flying right about now. He's moving that way. Not sure where he's going to end up. He's still going to be in sight by the looks of it. Oh, there we go. Right, come on, sound mask. Come on, ah. There we go. Jesus. Oh, right out of the front of his head. Alright. So that was mass. Nobody knows we're here. Or, well, they know something is up, but they don't know where we are. So that's good enough for me. Crap, I didn't mark that guy in time. No real point to marking other than, you know, me being able to see the distance. Which is still incredibly useful, but... Um, yeah, it also does give us the XP boost for shooting a marked target, but since we are playing on authentic difficulty, and authentic difficulty doesn't really give us any of the benefits of leveling up, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that was very close, actually. That was like almost skipping off his front head there. Oh crap, there's another guy. All right, um, I'm going to sprint forward just really quickly and yeah, good. These bushes are really convenient. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too convenient. Maybe they should become, you know, a little bit less uh, useful if enemies get close. So like I get them not seeing me from right over here. I don't get that if they're standing right in front of me and still don't see me, which still does happen. So. Sounds like another plane is coming this way. Headshots. Nice. Right, next push. We're just going to gradually work our way up. Looks pretty quiet. Maybe I can reach this bush over here. Yeah, cool. 
So there's another guy walking around there somewhere. I don't see him at the moment, but I know somebody is over here somewhere. I think these tents would be pretty clear right now. Ah, there's a guy. Just going to wait for another plane to pass by. Because I'm not sure if he's actually the last guy or not. Actually. Ah, okay, now he stands. No, he's not standing still. Um, crap, okay. We're going to need to move forward. There's the plane. Ooh, there's a guy. Yeah, but it's not in time. Crap, 130 meters. That would have been a good shot. We were there just moments before, actually. So that's the guy that we missed up on top. We killed almost everybody else, and that guy is probably the last one left. Oh, he's coming back this way. Alright, cool. I'm just going to go prone, just for my, you know... I know that he's not going to see the butt of my rifle sticking out of the grass, but still. It bothers me to actually leave that showing, you know? It's just for my own uh, ease of mind. Right, he is... That is a very silly walk that he's doing right there. And I kind of, you know, I could shoot him with the rifle, but I kind of want to stick a knife in his throat. <laughs> and I know that makes me sound very sick, but... I haven't been able to do a lot of uh, stealth kills at the moment, which is something I did a lot more of in Sniper Elite 3. And again, you know, Sniper Elite 3 was a bit more of a closed-off experience. And... Yeah, it made it easier to do so. And whereas this is a more open experience, which means that we have a lot of opportunities to actually shoot people from afar. So that's what I've been doing primarily in this game. Alright, getting close, getting close. Uh, he's going to go up the ladder probably. No. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> ah, that's a weird ragdoll. Alright, let's search his corpse and... I think I've grabbed all I can. Yeah, good. Right, so there's the hole in the wall that we came out of at the start of the video. Alright, it sounds pretty quiet up here now, which means it is time to... Oh, alright, yeah. <laughs> Use this generator to create some distraction. And hopefully, we can have some good targets of opportunity from up in the tower. There is at least the one guy. Ooh. That is our officer. What do we have here? 75 meters. There we go. Oh. -ho! All right, not quite out of sight. I was kind of hoping that he would uh go, you know, fall inside of the building there, but that didn't happen. Not quite. That's fine. We can make it work. Alright, so that guy. 100 meters. Lots of wind, so this is a little bit trickier. Is there anybody else, though? An easier target for us, maybe. Doesn't really show. Oh, there's another guy up there. He's further away, so he's an even harder target, but uh, we could make that work. Oh, actually, that was really good. <laughs> that was like a quick feeling there. Was it? Oh, the throat. Actually, just the neck, maybe, but yeah. Right, that was Ghost. Masked. Oh, really? <laughs> I was kind of expecting to need a second chance for that. Ooh. 
What was that? Heart shot. I didn't quite catch the heart there. Like, I didn't quite see it in the animation, but that was because his lungs were in the way. But still, that's really good. That guy is down. And let's see, are there any targets of opportunity up there? We do have the the baggage crate over there. We have another one over there. Not going to be able to hit those from here probably because I uh, I don't really want to because I don't really see anybody uh, standing underneath them anyway. Right, so now I'm kind of leaning towards this guy. There's almost no wind in his direction, and he is at a distance of 120 meters. That is actually not all that bad. You should be able to make that work. I'm just going to go prone here. Ah, oh, crap. I missed the sound mask. I kind of want a sound mask opportunity. There we go. Where did that hit? I didn't quite catch it. There we go. <laughs> I knew I was close, but... Ooh, I really like how the bone of the head just kind of dents inward. That wasn't there in Sniper Elite 3, I don't think, and that was really cool to see. <laughs> oh man, this game makes me sound so sick. I know, it is uh, quite bad, really, but... Alright, uh, any more opportunities for us? Let's see, we need to maybe get a better look from up here, if we can. Ah, there's a guy. Is there anybody else? that guy right there I kind of want to make an explosion or explosive kill because there are so many explosives around but right this guy is heading back in that direction maybe we can get an explosion kill on him get the shrapnel uh, stuff going he's getting very close yeah we're going for the barrels oh not quite the intestine. Uh, oh, was that two kills? Yeah, that was two kills. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that, that kind of looked like it was going to blow up his testicles. And actually, I've been playing this game for myself as well. Like, I'm playing the single player campaign ahead a little bit because I really enjoy playing this. And, you know, I don't want to wait and record every single. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to quit playing basically just because I'm recording this. But I had this happen to me one time where I blew up like a little crate or a, or a barrel or something and one of these pieces of shrapnel just flew through this guy's testicles and it just made me cringe so hard. <laughs> like, really, really hard. You know, there's like, every guy knows the sympathy pain you feel when you see a guy get hurt in the nuts, you know? And this game is really terrible for that. <laughs> Uh, so we could go down over here. I haven't gone this way, actually. And uh, that is something that is really interesting. So I'm going to go that way. First, I'm going to destroy the radio equipment. Also going to kick this generator. I could rig it to blow, but I don't want to. Because nobody is going to come back this way. And I prefer to have the sound mask opportunity. We can also search this body. So let's go and do that as well. Guess I grabbed everything useful. Got some rifle ammo. Let's see, how are we doing? We don't have any any mines. That would be pretty cool. We have some grenades. We have one S mine. Uh, not a whole lot of explosives. Yeah, we have the TNT as well. But yeah, okay. Right, let's go down here and have a look. How, oh, yeah, okay. We can go down right there. Alright, I'm going to search the officer's corpse, and then I'm not entirely sure. I think we've been playing for close to half an hour again, so... Once the corpse is searched, uh, that might be the end of this video. And then we might, uh, on the next one, go up to the village, up on the hilltop there. And go and attempt to sneak through that one a little bit, maybe. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go to this guy. And search his body. That's all. Right, so we have all the operational overviews. Uh, that is something that is also uh, more useful on lower difficulties than it is on this one. Because 
On lower difficulties, it will actually automatically tag all of the guys that work for him. And, of course, we don't... Yeah, I, I think it does tag everyone here automatically as well. So if you grab your binoculars and you mouse over somebody, then you will actually see it. But, you know, again, it doesn't really show up on the map. It doesn't show up on, on the HUD. Which, you know, I don't think is a bad thing. I think that's a great thing. I don't want that. But it's a feature that it is there for people to use on lower difficulties that is quite useful in that regard but it's also cheating so uh, yeah or not really cheating because you have to kill the officer and still get to him and probably you've killed most of the guys uh that work for him trying to get to this guy but still <sighs> fuck i did not notice that guy right there all right he does notice this That's the airplane. Can I... Yeah. Cool. We just have to deal with this dude. That was an eye. Nice. Alright, so there is a tunnel over here. And actually I remember this now. This is like a checkpoint, which is an optional side, uh, side quest that you can do. And so, yeah, you know what? Since I'm here already, I might as well go for it, right? So, um, let's clear this checkpoint as the last thing that we're going to do for this video. And then I'm going to be putting an end to it. In the next video, we're going to go out the back there and up to the hill and clear out the village from inside. I think that will be pretty cool. That will give us an opportunity because since those guys are not tagged yet or they're not alerted yet by any shots of my on my end, that means that we have some opportunities to do some nice knife kills, maybe. If I don't fuck it up, of course. Because if I do fuck it up, then well, everybody's going to be on alert. I'm going to be running for my life. Or actually, we already cleared this part. I remember now. I remember. Yeah, there's the body there as well. <laughs> there's no need in doing this. I just... This guy threw me off. I did not think there was going to be a guy left at this checkpoint. But we did clear this out in the first video. My bad. <laughs> Man, so awkward. Alright. Um, let's go down the beach. And I'm just for show, I'm just going to hide in this little bit of uh, seaweed, I suppose it is. It looks like grain, but uh, uh, yeah, it's not grain because it's out in the ocean water, so. There we go. <laughs> so, that, my name is Sick. This was the second episode on my authentic playthrough for Sniper Elite 4. Uh, please leave a comment and a like if you like this video. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.